today I'm at Bolton's Bench in the New Forest. Um, really cold last few days, haven't been out much, but made an effort today. There's a little bit of sunshine out there, but not a great deal. Bolton's Bench is a place I bring, it's basically the home of my photo experience days. I run hundreds of events here, thousands of people over the last, I don't know how many years, eight, nine years maybe. But today I thought I'd just come and do a little walkabout with a little video. So, anyway, but first, the all important, piping hot cup of tea. That's ah, very hot. <laughs> And there we've got a small little woodland, which gets really interesting later in the year. Straight ahead, the cemetery. There's always in the new forest. Do not feed, do not touch. Wildlife, ponies, keep a distance. So in normal times, I'm here several times a month. But the last year, barely at all. This is a great little spot though. Most of the tourists don't come to this little area. But huge amount of variety here, various times of the year. Fungi, mushroom, little bracken. Seen one, but there are various badger sets, badger holes around here. I've actually seen one, I've seen a dead one, sadly, but never, never been lucky enough to see a live one. Normally they're very docile like this, but they can occasionally turn and kick without warning, and nobody wants that. Bench Cemetery. A lovely little place. As far as cemeteries go. We've got a few dafts, daffodils coming up at the moment. A little bit early yet, only a few weeks too early. There's always bluebells, huge amount of bluebells. 
over there. So we've got a few dafts here. Not too many. Got some snowdrops. They've been growing here. It's been coming here every year. A few snowdrops there and some purpley things behind, whatever they might be. These trees, various other ones, they come into full blossom. A bit later in the spring, which looks incredible. We've got a little chapel here. Which I've never seen being used, I've been inside a few times, but never actually seen being used for anything, but it's a pretty cool little place. You don't see them in this picture, but there's a territorial robin, which is always in this area, on his right. Right down there, he, she. They always, oh, there's two of them, one in the back there on the, cement, on the gravestone. Yeah, it's always quiet in here. Yeah. The car parts can be overflowing back up there. But you come in here, even in the height of summer, and it's almost always empty. It really is a little sea of tranquility. Huge evergreen tree here. I'm going to try and guess how old that might be. Absolutely huge. Got to be one of the biggest trees in the New Forest. At least I know of. That's my paw print. This thing is insane. In a few weeks time this area will be a wash with daffodils, both sides of the path, everywhere, different kinds of daffs, I'll come back, it's the end of the month I think. It is still an active cemetery, I've seen a few services in the more modern part of the cemetery which is over here, what we've just walked through is the old part. Again, blossoms, that's the other tree, beautiful white flowers on this one. There are a few daffodils out here. Carol and Collins, died eight, nine months. So the actual Baldwin bench is at the top of the hill that we started with. But this is my favourite place to sit. Summer's day. In memory of Child Witcher and Ina Edwards. I can't I can just come and sit here. I sent my group out to do a little group exercise. I'll just come and sit here and relax for 20 minutes. So they replaced the gate not that long ago. So but I'm happy that they kept the same old sign. Happy we met. Happy we may we part. Happy may we meet again. That is really the best bits. Baldwin's bench area and interest in New Forest. It's a car park over here. Be... It just gets jam packed in the summer. Even then, like I said, the areas we've just been through are normally very quiet, which suits me perfectly. Right, cue the time lapse.